Shimoto. I'm Mike. Today I'm going to be giving you 12 tips to make your motorcycle camping trip a success. If you're basically just looking for what to pack, uh, everything that I'm going to be taking on an upcoming trip will be down in the description. The list is right there. You can just copy it and be on your way if that's what you want. But I have five tips to keep in mind before you go on your camping trip. I have four tips to keep in mind while you are on your camping trip. That's probably going to make it a bit more comfortable. And then I have three tips for when you actually get back home that are actually really important. I hope you find these helpful. Let's start with the five tips for before you leave on your camping trip. Planning for a motorcycle camping trip can take months. If you have experience though, it can still take up to weeks. But regardless of which one you are, make sure you give yourself enough time. Because if you're rushed, you're probably going to forget things. Tip number two. Make sure you give your bike a thorough inspection. Replace anything that's worn out or is due to be replaced. New tires, oil change, new brakes, new seat, new luggage, new windshield, new gas tank, new handlebars, new foot pegs, new whatever this is. We've gotta get a new one of those. Tip number three. Experiment with different ways of packing your motorcycle. Sometimes your first plan isn't exactly the best. After you get it loaded up, go for a short ride and make sure that everything stays put. Tip number four, learn to use all of your gear. That includes your camp stove, setting up your tent, rain gear, pretty much anything you're going to pack. Make sure that you know how to set it up, how it works. As far as like your camp stove goes, make sure that you can cook things that are actually edible and filling. Make sure that you can set up your tent, even if it's dark. Tip number five, pack comfortably. Try to avoid overstuffing your luggage. Not only is this bad for your luggage, but it can also be a real pain in the butt to try to play Tetris with all of your camping gear to get it to fit back in your luggage just perfectly. Allow for a little bit of room. That way when you buy that thing you don't need, you'll even have room for that. Here are four tips to keep in mind during your camping trip. Tip number one, bring a pencil and notepad with you. If you find out that you need anything that you didn't pack, write it down so that you can add it to your list when you get back home. Tip number two, take your time when setting up your camp. Look around, make sure that you can find a good flat spot or somewhere under a tree that's supposed to rain. Make sure everything's secured. If you do this quickly, you might jeopardize the comfort of your camp. Tip number three. I can't really make a joke about this one. I'm not your dad, so I can't tell you what to do. But riding a motorcycle all day and doing high mileage can cause a surprising amount of fatigue. So when your tent is set up and you're tired, go to bed. If you don't get enough rest, you can be fatigued the next day and that becomes dangerous. Not only dangerous for you, but everybody. Tip number four. This is very important if you're new to motorcycle camping. Check to make sure that your gear is secure often. Sometimes our setup isn't exactly as secure as we thought it was. So making sure that your luggage is still secure is a good idea. Here are three tips to remember after you get back from your camping trip. Tip number one. Go through all the stuff that you packed to see if you used it or if you didn't use it. Things like first aid kits or repair kits, even though they didn't get used, should probably be packed again. But anything that you didn't use, take it off your list. Tip number two, unpack your gear. Unroll all of your sleeping bags, unroll your mattress, unroll everything and make sure that it's clean and dry. There's nothing worse than taking it out next year finding out that it's all moldy. And tip number three, this seems like a no-brainer, but if you don't make it a point to do it, you will forget. Make sure that you edit your camping list. Add the things that you wrote down in your notepad to your list, and take things off your list that weren't needed. This way the next time you go motorcycle camping, your list will be pretty much done. <laughs>